StreamYard versus Ecamm. Which one is truly the best for live streaming production and which one should you be using? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about the similarities, the differences of both of these products. We're gonna talk about pricing and I'm gonna give you my ultimate recommendation of what I think is the best tool for live streaming. So stay tuned. Ecamm Live versus StreamYard. This is a conversation that people ask me all the time. Which one do I like better? Which one do I personally use? Well, I thought we would break it down today and look at the differences and similarities between the two products. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's start off by talking about the similarities between Ecamm and StreamYard because I find that this is actually an area that a lot of people don't fully understand. Both products offer a free and paid version of the platform. Ecamm offers a 14 day free trial and StreamYard offers a completely free plan. So you could literally sign up for StreamYard and have it completely free with some branding on it. So let's take a look at that a little further. I'm gonna go and pull up the StreamYard website here and you can see that on, they do have a completely free plan that includes screen sharing, some banners, their on-screen comments, six people on screen at a time, branded colors, green screen, stream anywhere, streamer branding and streaming limit. But as you move up into their most popular plan, which is $25 a month, you get a little bit more all the way up to the professional plan, which is $49 a month. Now, I should add this little disclaimer. If you do look at this page later on and the prices you see there are different, I don't apologize for that because pricing is always subject to change. I don't work for either of these companies. I don't have access to their what's coming out six months from now. So just bear in mind these prices may have changed since I made this video. Moving over to Ecamm side, you can see Ecamm has that 14 day free trial of the standard and Pro plans. And then their plans start at $20 or $40 a month, respectively. Obviously, if you go to the yearly plans, you do get it a little cheaper by about 20% off if you pay for that year up front. So that is the pricing of Ecamm and StreamYard. The next similarity is they both allow you to stream to all of the platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, um, Restream, all the platforms. Also, they do support custom RMTP, meaning that you could go to things like Amazon Live. Uh, you want to stream there, more than likely, you'll be able to with these programs because they do allow for that streaming to pretty much any platform you can think of. They both allow you to show comments on screen. So someone makes a comment, you wanna display that on screen, you can easily do that with StreamYard and Ecamm Live. They both allow you to share your screen. It's actually what I just did right there when I went to this camera here. This is literally just my computer screen being shared through Ecamm Live or StreamYard. Uh, so they both have that capability. And then both of them offer the ability to record your presentation uh, both when you are live and also have a record only mode. So you could do either one. StreamYard saves it to the cloud and Ecamm saves it to your desktop. So now that we've talked about the similarities between the two of them, let's take a look at what makes them a little bit different from one another. Let's go ahead and take a look at StreamYard first. With StreamYard, it is a browser-based service, meaning in order to go live on StreamYard, you have to be logged into a web browser, meaning this is Mac or PC. And if you know me and you know our four levels of live streaming, this falls into level two. Level two is our browser-based streaming, and that is where StreamYard definitely falls in. Now, what's interesting with StreamYard is they do include multi-streaming right out of the box. There's no extras you need for multi-streaming. Whereas with Ecamm, 
we have to use a third party service such as Restream to be able to stream to multiple destinations. StreamYard is also really easy to use. I have a lot of friends who use StreamYard and they all tell me it is so easy. It's literally what you see on screen is what's gonna be shown out and adding things and taking things out. It's all done with a click of a mouse. As I mentioned earlier, you can record things, but they do record to online storage that you would then have to download later if you need a local copy or even if you just wanna take it to another platform such as YouTube or something, maybe you recorded a video or you did it live, but now you wanna download that recording, chop it up for micro content, that would be something you could do with StreamYard. It would just be that extra step of downloading that copy. StreamYard, at the highest end, you can have 10 people on screen. Ecamm only allows for four, which in my opinion is more than enough, but if you need 10 people on screen, you're definitely gonna take a look at StreamYard in that. And StreamYard does allow for mobile live stream by way of the fact that you can use Safari on your phone and it will let you go live. It's not gonna be the best experience, but it definitely will get the job done. With that, let's talk about Ecamm Live. So Ecamm Live is Mac only software. If you have a Mac, and you are okay with having to use an actual physical computer to do all your streaming, you are definitely going to take a look at Ecamm because it is only, it's optimized to work on the Mac. Ecamm also allows for picture and picture support. So what I'm doing right here or on this scene here, this is not possible inside of StreamYard. Having my camera on one side and this, uh, you also could have it as a picture in picture with a camera um, on top of a video. All of that is supported in Ecamm. I have yet to see it natively in StreamYard. Now, is there workarounds to it in StreamYard? Yes, but we are just talking basic, out of the box functionality. You will find that in Ecamm. You won't really have it as easy inside of StreamYard. 4K streaming in Ecamm. So this is available in the professional plan and it is definitely one of the biggest reasons I do use Ecamm. I, I'm just gonna let it out of the bag now. I use Ecamm Live. It's what I'm using right now to record this video. It is by far my favorite live streaming software. I've tried them all. But at the end of the day, I always come back to Ecamm Live because it is just so simple to use and it Honestly, it does give me that ability to go live in 4K should I choose to. I don't do it often, but I have worked with clients that that is a big uh, factor for them, and that is something I do like about Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live also allows you to play sound effects, music, all of that stuff natively in software, so there's no need for additional software. You also have the ability to show your iPhone and iPad natively inside of Ecamm Live, and you can also use things like animated overlays. So something like my countdown timers, which you guys all love, those are done with animated overlays that I create in a program like Keynote and bring into Ecamm Live and it can play that animation. And it also, keep in mind, does support transparency. So if you want a countdown timer like we have, you would have to do that inside of Ecamm Live because StreamYard, unfortunately, as of right now, does not support transparent uh, video files. It just does not work inside of StreamYard. So those are the similarities and the differences. So what I thought I would do now is I'm actually going to take you in to the applications and give you a little bit of a look around as to how they work. We are inside of StreamYard right now. I'm gonna go and enter the broadcast studio and you can see how this works. Once it loads up, you will be given the option to select your camera and microphone. You would simply select the camera in which you wish to use and you would set your microphone and audio output that you choose to use. In this case, I would be using that microphone and the speakers you would set. If you want to use echo cancellation or, or just the microphone volume, you can do that here as well. 
But once you're good with everything, you can enter the studio. And then this is what it looks like. Now I'm just on the free plan here. I don't have um, all the bells and whistles. So what you're seeing here is literally the free plan. Um, you simply just add yourself to the stream and there I am. Now I'm being broadcast out. If I were to take myself off the stream, it's literally just gonna be this blank space. I can add a different, uh, under the brand category, I can have a background. Um, obviously I would need to upgrade for that. You can do background music now. I know this is a relatively new uh, setting they added. You can have videos added inside of um, StreamYard, countdown timers. So all those different things, uh, different types of branding you can do. I uh, can't, ah, didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. It's all here. You can have different comments brought up on screen. All of this is adjusted and being controlled through StreamYard. So let's say I had more than one person on the screen or wanted to do a share screen. Maybe if I share a video file or an extra camera, all of that can be done inside of StreamYard. Now, let's now take a look at Ecamm Live. I am gonna go into live demo mode, and this is Ecamm. This is what I have been controlling this entire video from. So in Ecamm, it operates under the idea of scenes, which we don't have inside of StreamYard. On the left hand side here, I have all my different scenes and these are the things I've been switching to. So if I go to this scene right here, this is what you were looking at earlier, but you can see it changed it over here. I set this up in advance in Ecamm Live and then I can control it using your mouse or in this case, I'm using a Stream Deck. That's something else. StreamYard, while it does support the Stream Deck now, it doesn't support everything in the Stream Deck. Ecamm Live has native support for the Stream Deck. It's super easy to set up a Stream Deck with Ecamm Live, and I love, love, love using uh, the Stream Deck with Ecamm Live. Native interview mode. All of these things can be done inside of Ecamm with very little uh, setup or very little um, need to know. Again, we have free training on Ecamm if you guys are ever interested in more of it. Uh, we can definitely get you that information at any time. But that's it. That is StreamYard and Ecamm. So if you are looking for something that's plug and play, literally log into an account and go, StreamYard is definitely gonna be your best option. If you are looking for a little bit more control, professionalism, or even just something where you can set everything up in advance and be able to deliver a push button simple production, you're definitely gonna wanna take a look at Ecamm Live. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found this video useful, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.